Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Liz and Lou. Today I'm gonna show you how we play with Louie's soccer ball. So as you can see, Louie, come here. <laughs> Louie, bring your ball back, come on. So as you can see, Louie's wearing his harness so that he can play on the leash because we are um, in an area where he needs to be leashed. So that's why we have the harness on him so he can be leashed and he can run after the ball. Um, safely so if he went to go run after the ball with the collar on he might get choked so we're making sure he's safe he has the harness on and we're gonna show you how we play soccer <laughs> drop drop <laughs> it's hard to like film in <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Drop. Drop. Watch for snakes. Pissing right there, really. But we can't have the ball, can we? <laughs> so, Louie was a little gear shy of his harness. Um, so, that's also a helpful thing to get your dog used to the gear that they have. Um, see, like he's rubbing himself. Give credit to the person who actually commented that he might be gear shy, that's why he's rubbing. Um, so um, he is a little gear shy, so. And that's a really good phrase to explain it. So I think playing with the harness, whoa. <laughs> so playing with the harness, I think really just helps him adjust to it. So now he sees the harness and he's like, okay, I know that we're gonna play after I put this on. So he's a little bit more comfortable with it. And um, if you guys are interested in checking out our second channel, we are making the van tour. I know it's been so long and I promised you guys um, a tour of our van. And we filmed it actually a couple days ago, but it was really windy, so we didn't get to film outside the van. And I think we're gonna do that today, so. Oh, what a cutie. He's like, this is my ball, I'm resting. We can play when I'm done. So, if you guys are interested in watching our van tour, please subscribe to Burden Off Grid. That is our new travel YouTube channel and we'll be posting the van tour very shortly. It's halfway done, um, so it should be up soon and I'm very excited for that. Oh, Bubba. He gets pretty tired fast doing uh, playing with a soccer ball, so this is a really nice exercise to just, if you have a few moments to play with your dog, like before work or something, I think this is a really good thing to do because he gets tired so quickly so it's a very like strenuous workout where he's looking at the ball it's very close to him and he's analyzing his next move he's just got his eye on the ball the whole time it's not like fetch where he's just like running back and forth and it's actually really fun for us too um, we're playing soccer as well so I actually really like it how about you Nick do you like it I like it <laughs> I guess he's tired though oh <laughs> you want to get your ball get your no you Get your ball, come on, get your ball. And he hooks his teeth into this, which is funny. He carries it like that. For like a herding drive type of dog, dogs that like to herd, I think this is a really good toy. So if you guys wanna check this ball out, I will leave the link below. Um, I got it off Amazon and it was pretty inexpensive. I'll leave that below for you guys. <laughs> his mouth, and he's carrying it. <laughs> yeah. 
He's tired. You're tired. Loose unit. <laughs> Loose unit. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Come on. You want some water? Go on. Very good. Louis, sit. You want a drink? Also, I think Louie gets pretty tired wearing that big harness, so I'm gonna actually look for one that is like smaller and easier um, for him to be playing around with because obviously, as you guys can tell, like that's a pretty thick harness. Um, and it isn't too hot today. Like right now, I think it's early in the day. Leave some comments below about harnesses that you really like because I'm looking into getting um, a different one for him for play. So we're just taking Lou for a walk and we thought we'd bring you guys along. I got a question on a couple of my last videos about um, rattlesnakes and what I've been doing to prevent that. So basically we kind of keep Lou on a short leash and we don't let him like smell off in these bushes or anything we don't let him like stray too far from us that's one thing we're doing i'm also like trying to do this command where i say on trail as i like kind of pull him back on the trail while we're running or walking oh do this do i have them i do <laughs> perfect i had these in my pocket from yesterday Woohoo! I'm ready, let's go. <laughs> Someone made this cool little spiral out of rocks on their campsite. <laughs> He's walking Lou through it like a maze. Just holding poop bag. <laughs> His pooping disrupted my rattlesnake talk. So anyway, I've been pulling him back to me staying on trail when he goes off the trail to like sniff and like get into rocks and bushes that rattlesnakes may be at. So I keep him close and I'm working on that command, so. Those are the things that I'm working on for rattlesnake prevention. Um, I haven't looked into getting him trained for rattlesnakes because we are leaving here in probably like two weeks or so. It's honestly so cold here still for snakes. There's like nothing out really. Like I've seen no snakes, no lizards, no like warm weather um, animals because it still is chilly. It's really windy during the day. It's really cold in the shade. So I don't think they're even out yet here. And our next destination um, does doesn't have rattlesnakes or like doesn't have as many as say like the desert obviously I'm probably not gonna do the rattlesnake training with him I'm like I don't let him smell <laughs> like, so Louis is obsessed with smelling and peeing on everything so I do let him to some extent obviously I let him smell around um, but like, I'm not gonna let him go off the trail so much where I can't even see. Like if I can see over there, obviously that there is not a snake, I'm gonna let him sniff. <laughs> like what's that smell? What's that smell? just walks back and forth, back and forth, wherever he wants. You have no control over that dog. You're right. I don't. Free range chicken. I mean, if he wants to go left, I'll let him go left. If he wants to go right, he wants to go right. Like, I don't give a shit about that. As long as he's close to me and he's listening to me with the commands I want him to do, then he can walk wherever he wants. Thank you.
All right, guys, so that's about it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more videos of us and comment below if you like the video, um, harness ideas, anything that you'd like to comment because I love listening to you guys. Yeah, so we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.